It's the crack of dawn. Seven forty-three. God. Holy jumping tomatoes. I'm bound to the rocks where I left from yesterday. Not where I ended up at, but where I, where we left from. There's a lot of a lot of a lot of iron there. Denny was having a struggle with his X cow. But that big ten inch core. I'm going back there. I like it. Tide's low in about an hour. Stand by. Sure, but this could be the Guru's car right here. It is a Guru's car. I see it's the Techno right there. <laughs> the real Guru I'm talking about. I ain't talking about no rookie Guru. I'm talking about the real McCoy. The Guru, I told you he was here. Look at him. Plundering. The Guru. All by himself. But not for long. Leaving. Yeah, it's just too much junk in here. That's what happened. That's why we left yesterday, because Denny was having a terrible time with his Excalibur. Yeah. There's so yeah. much iron here. Well, there's tons of those crusty pennies, and every one of them sound good. Yeah, I know it. And little pieces of iron look like nails with big, heavy coatings on them and stuff. And you see how much junk I've dug. Of course, I put a rock in there just because it was cool looking, yeah. but. Uh, It's got some color to it. I don't know if it's the right stuff underneath all that iron. Uh, it's a little signet ring, I think. Stand by for a closer observation. I think I like it. 64 quarter. I like it. Starting to breeze up on me now. I'm going to have to cut it short, I think. Look at them waves right there. Yeah. Plenty of targets here. The tide's getting high now though. That's, the waves are coming in with the tide and the wind. It's supposed to be really nasty. It's supposed to be raining and all that kind of jazz. But it hadn't materialized yet. Just waves and more wind now. Not much, but you know, becoming close to unworkable. I know it's been a nice morning though. Stand by. That blue taquito. God damn, he's blue. I thought there was a target in here, but I don't know. I can't find it. But there's a target here somewhere in this hole where this marble came out of. That's a baby blue marble right there, baby. Good gracious. Goes the beach king sweeping the beach. Really breezing up now. Look, my nose is like a hurricane here. <laughs> I gotta make a run for those steps right now. I think. Hello. Stand by. I gotta. Uh, iron, I think. All right, we're getting ready for the roundup. Here's the what I think is a spark plug from yesterday. We want to crack it open, and we.
we know this is an AC spark plug from today. Stand by. Well, when you crack them spark plugs open, you can see the base of them go all to pieces. No more bases. So all we're left with is the glass part. Stand by. I can't find any markings on this one right here. You know, like Champion or something like that. So I don't know what it is. But we know this one's AC. I've never seen that spark plug with the bottom part missing before, so that's what they look like. A side note, I just got a package in the mail. I've been expecting it. It's uh, sort of detector related. I've been helping a fellow out with his SE probe and some coils, and he was kind enough to send me uh, some beverage to help. I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't know what kind it is. I just know it's wine. And uh, you know, I kind of have a favoritism for wines. So it's made in the San Sebastian Winery in St. Augustine, Florida. Mm -hmm. Come out of there, you little taquito. Mmm. White wine. Reserve. Blanca du Bois. Florida premium wine. Cleared in bottle in San Sebastian Winery, St. Augustine, Clare, Claremont, Florida. Alcohol, 12%. Mmm. I might be right out there with the best of it today. I'm working on that now. That's not the best of it. That's just some of the stuff from today that got hung in the picture. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I won't go into any details. But my buddy's name is Michael. Thank you, Michael. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Jack's asleep. Look at it. Big old baby. <laughs> Stand by. Oh, uh, let's see. Today's the 21st. I just realized that yes, day before yesterday, the 19th was Low Tide Tim's birthday. So we're taking him out to dinner tonight somewhere for his birthday. Happy birthday, Low Tide Tim. Things are starting to jump around a little bit here. I just got a call from a lady. Wants to meet me in 30 minutes with a flock of knives I'm shopping for. Me and Jack, we're gonna go on a mission and go get them. Stand by. Wrapped up in them two rags right there are Jessica's knives. Three knives she brought me. She's going to bring me the whole set tomorrow at Whole Foods when I sharpen these up and give them back to her. There's Glory in them rags. Gl glory with a big G. Stand by. There's Glory right there. And I hate to see what this baby right here costs. I'm so curious I'm going to have to go online and find that. Handcrafted in Japan. Ken Onion 7 inch cleaver. It probably weighs a good two pounds. But you can see it's got some major chips in it. She says they cut up chicken for their dog. I can take care of those chips. Well I checked on this Ken Onion 7 inch cleaver. It lists for 300 and some dollars. I thought it would be more than that. Uh, you can buy most anywhere for 229, 219, 240. So we say 220 or 30 bucks. It's a nice cleaver, sharp. Now I got the big neck out of it. One little teeny place remains, but she's like a razor now. Bad. It's a nice cleaver. They cut chicken with it. I can't believe it. Feed your dogs. Woo. I mean, it's nice. I cut chicken for Jack too, but I don't use a, no fancy cleaver like that. These are sharp. Bad. Sean's a nice knife. For what you see in America. Normal household 
fine cutlery, we'll call it. They're much better, of course, but it gets much pricier, too. Fine tickets.